Everyone's got opinions about pool, and frankly, I do too. I'm here to demystify pool and make pool practice accessible when you can't practice like a pro. I love talking about pool. My goal is to make it accessible for people who wants, just wants to learn and get better. So today, I want to talk about some of the more intangible aspects of pool, particularly about how my development of AIM um, went on over the years. So what I didn't know about Amy that I wish I knew a long time ago was that it would change with or without my knowledge. The key point here is that it happened with or without my knowledge. What I mean by that is that I advanced further than I was mentally, I, I was mentally capable of. So I was basically handicapping myself. So when I started using one aiming method, I stuck with it longer than I should have. I would continue to expend a lot of effort to, you know, aim one shot and try with my, to my utmost ability to make this one shot. What ended up happening was that because I was using so much energy, each subsequent shot was a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder because I was doing something that was external to what my natural instinct was. So inevitably this led to some fatigue, it made the game slightly harder than I think it could have been. Not only that, but because I was obsessing with ensuring making this shot, I wasn't looking at what was going on. I had less mental space for awareness, for planning, for observing, for, you know, just paying attention to what was going on. And what's even worse, committing to the shot was difficult because I was so obsessed with making it. And I learned that being afraid to make a shot is, um, is pretty killer to making a shot. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that I didn't win a match here or there, or that I didn't prove at all, or that I didn't learn anything. That's far from it. But I think I could have learned more. I was inevitably stunting my own growth, and my obsession uh, left a lot of, left a little bit of reserved mental space to be aware, to absorb, and to learn. So what eventually came next was, in one simple word, faith, which is kind of strange. Uh, so I took a step back and dug into my fundamentals, smoothing it out. What came next was kind of magical. There was a point where I began to uh, just kind of let go of aiming systems and just start to um, use my imagination. Just kind of instinctively, I imagined where the cue ball should be and I just without, with barely thinking, I just went for it. And um, I made it a lot more often than I was aware that I was capable of. This has kind of changed the way I approach, approach practice. Uh, instead of using aiming systems, now I use practice to build familiarity on the table. M muscle memory, um, timing, and properly aligning difficult shots. I don't use as much aiming systems to test how successful I am at using them. My next steps in development are, are, you know, in the works and I look forward to seeing what happens. The point of what I'm trying to say is that aiming requires practice, commitment, and faith. Maybe it's obvious, but it bears repetition in my opinion. All these aiming systems are just tools that will help you build familiarity and shouldn't be relied on over the long haul like it was for me. Uh, it's a, pool is a complicated sport as it is, and I think that leaving mental space for, you know, absorbing and learning and being aware is more important than using an aiming system to a, as a handicap. So I'm leaving you guys with a great drill for developing this skill. And I do this too. You shoot a bunch of shots without a, using any kind of pre-strokes. You, this helps to build um, commitment towards a shot and develops a really good pre-shot routine. Forcing yourself to commit to a shot, whether you make it or not, I think is pretty important in developing muscle memory. If it's difficult at first, you know, don't worry about it. Take a step back and try it again. Um, this is fundamentals after all. All right, thanks for listening and um, happy shooting to all. And yeah, hope you learn.